Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com. This video will showcase the two best task killers for Fire TV and Android TV devices. Using a task killer is one of the best ways to improve performance because it shuts down all the apps and processes running in the background, consuming system resources. The first one is free and it's called Fast Task Killer. On your Fire TV or Android TV device, the first thing that you want to do is install the free downloader application. I am on a Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but this works on Android TV devices as well, and you can get this through the Google Play Store. I'm going to click Download. Okay, I'm not going to open it just yet. I'm going to go back to the home screen, move over, hover over Settings, go into My Fire TV, and I want to go into Developer Options. Now, for some reason, this is not listed on this page here. What you want to do is go into About, highlight the name of your Fire TV device. In my case, I'm using a Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Highlight that, and then click the Select button on your remote seven times. And it says, for me, no need. You are already a developer. If you're not already a developer, once you do that, it will say you are now a developer. And then when you go back, you will see developer options on this page. Go into that, go into install unknown apps, and you want to turn on unknown apps for downloader. And on the older Fire TV devices, there's just one toggle that you turn on and that will apply to all applications. All right, once you do that, go to the screen that shows all of your applications, launch downloader, click allow, Click OK, push the up button on your remote to put the cursor in the URL box, click the select button on the remote to open the keyboard, type in 250931, and click go. This will open the Troy Point toolbox that will allow you to download and install free applications that aren't available within the Amazon App Store or Google Play. Now, if you haven't already done so, I suggest marking this page here as a favorite within Downloader. To do that, hold down on the Select button of the remote for a few seconds. Click Add Current Page to Favorites. Move down. Click Save. And now the next time you come in here, you can easily get to this by going into Favorites. Click Troy Point Toolbox. That way you don't have to type in the code and you don't have to wait for the five second load screen with the advertisements. All right, now that you're on this page, what you want to do is scroll down until you find Fast Task Killer. And here it is right here. Now you're going to notice there's dozens of free applications that you can install on your Fire TV or Android TV devices on this page. And to learn about them, all you need to do is click the tutorial link. Okay, I'm going to click download. Click Install, Application Installed. I'm going to click Done. I always click Done because I want to delete the installation APK file. There's no need to leave this on the device. I'm going to click Delete and then Delete again. Now I'm going to go to the home screen. I want to put this on my main row right here because I do use this on a regular basis. I'm going to go into All Applications, hover over Fast Task Killer. I'm going to hold down on the select button of my remote for a few seconds. And now I'm going to use the arrows on my remote to drop this into place. I'm going to put this right behind my Surfshark VPN shortcut. Click the select button. And now when I go back to the home screen, it's right here. Now, all I need to do to shut down all the apps and processes on my device is click the Fast Task Killer shortcut. And you'll see there, it gives me a list of terminated processes. Okay, the next one I want to show you is by Tech Doctor UK. So I'm going to type in TD, and you'll notice after I type that in, TD UK App Killer comes up. I'm going to click that. Now, this does cost a couple dollars. However, you can use it on all of your devices after you've purchased it. So if you purchase this on a Fire TV device, you can use it on all of your Fire TV systems. And if you purchase it on your Android TV box, you can use it on all of your Android TV devices as well. 
and you will notice that this does have additional options that are available and we will cover those now so I'm gonna download it and you'll see there it has a great rating right now 347 reviews looks like about a 4.3 or 4.2 star rating which is great okay I'm gonna go ahead and click open and right away on the left side you're gonna see note please ensure you have enabled ADB debugging now to do that I'm gonna go back to the home screen I'm gonna go over and hover over settings go into my fire TV developer options and you will see for me ADB debugging is already on if it's not on for you highlight it click the OK button on your remote and that will turn it on back to my screen that shows all the applications I'm gonna go back into this and the first thing I want to do is connect this device via ADB You'll get this screen here. Make sure you click the checkbox that says always allow from this computer. Click OK. And now you're going to see some options here. The first thing I want to do is count the total running background apps. I'm going to click that. And it says the total number right now is 10. So as you can see here, by using these task killers and app killers, by closing these down, obviously it's going to improve the performance. So now I'm going to go ahead and click force stop all apps. And it says total number of apps killed is nine. So one of them did not close. More than likely, that's some sort of process running in the background that's required by the Fire TV operating system. Now, one of the main reasons people really like this application is because of the whitelist. You can come in here and tell the app killer which applications you do not want to kill. Now, when I go through these applications, there's only a couple applications that I personally would not want to kill. That would be my VPN. Obviously, we want that running all the time in the background. And the other one for me would be mouse toggle for Fire TV. I use this on applications that don't work well on the TV screen where I need a mouse to click various items. And I want that always running in the background as well. Other than that, there's nothing else that I would want to whitelist. Now, you may have some applications that you always want running in the background that you can turn on in this location. And as I mentioned earlier, Fast Task Killer is very easy to use, and so is this. Again, all you need to do is come in here and click Force Stop All Apps. Total number of apps killed is zero because we already did it. And as with Fast Task Killer. We can easily add this to our main screen, highlight it, hold down on the select button of the remote for a few seconds, use the arrows, drop it into place, go back to the home screen, and here it is. Some of you may complain that you have to pay $2 for this premium app, but keep in mind it's giving us capabilities that this free one does not, specifically the whitelist. And it's also important to note that when updates for Fire OS and Android TV come out, these free apps like Fast Task Killer may stop working. The developer may not update them. More than likely, Tech Doctor UK will continue to update this so it is compatible with future Fire OS and Android TV updates. Keep in mind, your purchase goes towards helping support those updates. So there you go, guys. A free option and a paid option with additional features for boosting the performance on your Fire TV or Android TV devices with a simple click on your remote. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I drop new tutorials like this in the future. As always, have an awesome day and thanks for following TroyPoint.